Welcome to the Sunday, June 2nd episode of Stacks on Deck. This is Bray Birds DFS. It's one of the best places for PGA, NFL, MLB, and NBA news. And of course, DFS. You can see my new logo right there. You can click on that if you want to subscribe to my channel. All right, so let's jump on in. We can pull up my checklist. And today we're gonna to look at the things we always look up, how things went the previous day, any weather concerns I have, and then my top stacks, top pitchers, top hitters, and I'm gonna help you with a DK stack build. All right, so we have the bag in the overdraft. We know what the bag is. That's what we're all going after. And you had a mega game, something that I really haven't seen often. The A's played the Braves in Atlanta and they combined for 20 runs and the winning GPP lineup, I think had like seven, you know, players from this matchup. So if you somehow, you know, figured that the A's, the Oakland A's were going to, you know, take it to the Braves' best pitcher, man, well, you earned that money. That matchup was golden. And then you have Valdez, who got 37 fantasy points. But then you have the overdraft. The Guardians only got three runs. I was really high on them. Same with the Tigers and Sale. I mean, I did not see this coming. I don't know who saw the best pitcher for the Braves, one of the best pitchers in baseball, just getting railroaded by the A's. So if you put the if you put sale in your lineup at that high salary, it was kind of game over for you. That's it is what it is. That's DFS for you. All right. So weather concerns. I don't have any weather concerns today. Yeah, there's some chances of rain, but it's the spring. It's late spring, early summer. A little bit of rain is not going to cancel the game for them to delay the game. It has to be something that happens just persistent after the first pitch because they see the same weather forecast as us. So if there's a chance of rain, a lot of times they have the tarp on the field kind of protecting it. All right, so my top stacks for the day. So when I'm making my top stacks, I'm looking at the matchup. I'm looking at how the teams have played. I try to look at salary and I try to look at how they distribute their offense because this is a stack. We don't need all of the offense to be, you know, just siloed into one or two players. So I love the Orioles stack today. We know when it comes to Orioles, they're very expensive, but sometimes, you know, it's kind of like a car. You got to pay up to get what you really want and you really need. And then I have the Padres second, followed by the Rangers. I'm going back to the Guardians and Fifth, I have the Brewers. They have a good, both of those teams have really good pitching matchups. So my top pitchers, yes, I have the most expensive pitcher again on the slate, Peralta. Uh, then I have Bassett and Irving. They both have pretty good matchups. And if you want to save some salary, I like both of them at 8,200 and 7,600 respectively. Let's go to those hitters. And we have Andujar for the for, for the Athletics at 3,500 if you want to save some salary in the outfield. And then you have Lindor at 4,700 at shortstop. But then there's so many good shortstop options. You you have uh, you have Witt, uh, you have Adames, you have a lot of good shortstop options. So I'm going to go with, with Lindor. But shortstop, there is a plethora of good players. And then I'm going to go with Alvarez from the, from the Astros at 5,200 in the outfield. All right, so let's move over to DraftKings and uh, look at my stack. So yeah, I got that Oreo stack. I mean, very, very expensive stack. We have Mount Castle, eight home runs on the year, had multi-hit games in three out of the last four games, including coming off of a two home run game. You have Westberg, nine home runs on the year, multi-hit games in three out of the last five games, including two home runs out of the last five games and a home run last game. You have Henderson, 18 home runs on the a year good grief uh four game hitting streak including a home run three games ago and you have santander 10 home runs on the year back-to-back -back multi hit games hits in four of the last five games and a home run in the last game i mean i don't know what to say i mean the orioles are just a good stack you're gonna have to make some decisions maybe you put some of those value pitchers that i recommended in there and you know just search for some good one-off players to you know help your lineup all right that's my little quick show. We have an early slate, so I want to get this out. If you have any comments, leave them, but otherwise go out there and win that guap.